and you make flop floppersons and and then after that you got the flip flop flip and flop and then the flop and flip and flop and flapjacks. And then after flapjacks you got the flip and flop and teeth flip flop switch, which is a kind of electronic thing. And then after that you got the flippity flops. See when it gets too hot to wear these, like right now, you wear flippity flops. Flip flops and flip flops they are part of Part of flip flop of the nature of the United States of Utah, America. And people in the United States of Utah, America wear flip flops most of the time instead of shoes. Uh, because they, they don't like to get sand inside of their shoes. See, if you take a flip flop to the, to the beach and you wear the flip flop on, on the dunes uh, of the beach, the, the, the sand gets in between your toes, but not permanently. But if you're wearing, if you're wearing a sneaker, in the beach, and the, and the sand gets inside of it, you will forever have grains of sand inside your shoe. Forever. I'm not kidding you. Even if you thoroughly wash this out with a thermal compressor, uh, with a thermal whatever, even if you steam dry this thing, you will never get every single grain of sand out. It's impossible. But with flip flops is possible. That's why people wear flip flops in Utah. Uh, now, I don't like flip-flops because my toes is hairy like cobbit feet, so I wear, I wear sneakies, sneaky shoes, okay? Not the flippy flop, flip flop, 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 or some flop jacks, because those are not good for your body. They're not good for you. You can't put Dr. Scholl's on flip-flops. You can put Dr. Scholl's on these bad boys, see? Dr. Scholl's, Dr. Scholl's, Dr. Scholl's, Dr. Scholl's. So you can put them in here. Except not this shoe, because it'll come out, the goo will start seeping out this hole, and then I'll leave goo prints, and then people can follow me home, and I don't like that. I don't like being followed home, except by, you know, people I know. But anybody can follow me home, because they'll be like, oh, there's a trail of goop. It must lead to Daniel's home. They just know it. And so that's why I wear sneakers instead of flip-flops. Despite the common cultural trend that's going on right now of wearing flip flop flip and flop 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 flip flop flop flap jackersons flip and flop flip flip and flip and flopping flip and flip flip flop floppersons uh... they also come in different colors all the way from red to ultraviolet and uh... people who wear ultraviolet flip flops are just, just mad mad with with self esteem and that's why I don't like Utah Flip flip flop and flip and flop and flip and flop and flopper sense. Mad with flip and flop and flop flops. Anyway, so that's that's pretty much it. Follow me out to the car, please. Follow me out to the car. This is very important that we discuss this. So anyway, um another thing another thing about Utah is well Provo, Utah, is short shorts. Shorty, short, 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 short shorts. Everybody wears them. Even guys sometimes show off the short shorts. Oh wait, I totally forgot. No wait, do I have No, I totally forgot my car keys. Um here, follow me into my room. Car keys. I totally forgot my car keys. Um as I grab my car keys, I'm going to take you Shush. Shush woman. Just I got my car keys. Oh, Mary. Mary sometimes just gets on my nerves. She'll say something like, "Did you forget your wallet?" as if I don't know. I she just totally says stuff like that to me all the time. And she always says things like, I love you, honey, and, and says other things like, oh, I made you dinner tonight, and I'm just, ugh, honestly, she was not, like last night, last night she said, I think you're handsome, and I was just, ugh, Mary, sometimes I swear you're here, follow me to the car. Okay, anyway, back to short shorts. So people wear short shorts all the time because they just don't know how to control their thighs. Their thighs are out of control. They run way too much. And then, then their, shot, their thighs, their thighs just don't fit in jeans anymore. They just don't. So they have to wear short shorts. And as they wear short shorts, other, other people, they get aroused. See, short shorts arouse people. And so you got this whole town of aroused people. And all the aroused people, they just, they just look at the short shorts and they just be aroused all day. And so they, they're so aroused that it goes all the way back down to their feet. And so now they're aroused wearing these short shorts. And then their feet, they feel kind of jealous of their thighs because they're out in the air all aroused. And so their feet get aroused. 
And so they have to wear the equivalent of short shorts, which are flip-flops. See, it all comes back. It's all a vicious cycle as to why Utahns wear flip-flops and short shorts. And so what I'm really saying is there's no beach. There is no beach in Utah. Why are you wearing short shorts and flip-flops? We're in a desert. There's no beach in Utah. Not even Provo has a... It's, the closest thing we have is Utah Lake, and there's dead things in there. There's no beach in Utah Lake. There's no beach anywhere. Anyway, so that's, that's uh, yeah, anyway, let's go. You're stupid. You're stupid. Yay, we're going. Anyway, so that's, that's, my, that's what, just go to California or, or the Atlantic, Pacific, whatever, you know. There you'll look non goober ish. Non goober ish. Over there. Anyway, so that's my, uh, that's what I think.